see on the global stage. But at the heart of it is how the internet is really transforming businesses, changing healthcare, changing lives, determining which countries go ahead in the global economies and perhaps which ones fall behind. Kim, are you married? I am. Do you ever think about getting divorced? No. <laughs> no. Now, here I am teasing him about his most valuable relationship in life, and he's sweating. <laughs> and the point that I'm making, change is great when it happens to somebody else. But when it happens to us, it makes us uncomfortable. And yet, countries, companies, or individuals who do not change will get left behind. We now run our entire company off of social networking groups with a very disciplined approach to process. And instead of doing one or two priorities a year, we do 30. Instead of productivity growing at two or three percent like my peers are growing, our productivity the last two quarters is growing 17 percent. Having the ability to encourage to catch market transitions, understand how these new technologies will forever transform education to the average citizen in India, and perhaps not that cost a uh, 20 or 30 dollars a month, but perhaps one more. Or the capability to capture this and bring a job to business with mass capabilities, perhaps one dollar for business. The ability to do that virtually is when you're in the same room where you can be in any location throughout the country.